right, and now we have uh, Rick's Corner. Rick's Corner, simple solutions for common questions. And actually, I've been seeing this come up more and more. Um, how to manually add members to your website and also how to make edits to existing member data uh, in your website. Uh, so, Rick, thanks for joining us uh, and taking the time to join us today in the webinar. Uh, can you can you help us with these two points? Because I've been seeing a lot of support tickets coming in around these two topics. Definitely, Jason. So, hello, everyone. Uh, sometimes the, the things that may seem really easy to us may be a little bit complicated to other people. So, I believe that starting from basic stuff like what we're going to be able to go through today is going to be able to help a lot of people. Awesome. So, yeah, you're right. This does come up often. Okay, so this process, um, it, it basically also goes along the lines of what Dennis was talking about before. There might be a potential business that's interested in being a part of your directory and you don't want to go and pitch your idea empty-handed. So you might as well just create a member, create a basic listing from the back end. It's not going to cost you anything, just a few minutes. Um, and then you're going to have something to show to this potential member, right? It's going to be easier for them to visualize what you're talking about if you have something to show. So let's go ahead and get started here. It's actually a, a simple, very straightforward process. Uh, to get started, we're going to navigate to the member section here. So let me go ahead and open that up. And basically what we have here when the page loads, as you guys might, might already know, it's just a list of all your different members. We have a few options here uh, to import members, geocode your members. What we're going to be basically focusing on today right, or right now, it's going to be here adding a new member. I'm just going to click on that button here. Um, so going to open up this model, which allows me to select uh, select a few things. First, what's the status of the member that I'm going to be adding? So you, you can switch from active to non-active. You can go ahead and switch the member or choose, sorry, the membership level that you want to that you want to add this member to. So I, I want to stop you right there about the membership level. Mm -hmm. That part of this is you can select a paid membership level here because you're manually creating the member, even if they're not paying for that membership level because you're the admin of the site. You can assign anyone to whatever membership level you want, even if they're not actually paying you. Completely correct. Okay. So yeah, that's how how you can get a, a full profile for free to show to again the potential member or something along those lines. Perfect. So you don't have um, to go to the paid checkout page and pay there. <laughs> I've seen people do this. <laughs> they they go pay through their own checkout page to get to a, a paid plan with those features. So this this is good to know. Yeah. Well, if you want to pay yourself, you can, you can also do it that way. But this way, this way, it's going to be easier, right? Um, so here, if uh, let's go ahead and move forward. I'm just going to go ahead and add my email address, Rick at Brilliant Directories. Com. Um, simple password. Um, this information is optional. So if you have this information, feel welcome to add it. I'll go ahead and type type it in. Right. Let's see. Uh, company, Brilliant Directories. Again, optional information, not necessary. It's not necessary to add this. Directories, but now that I'm taking the time, it's better if you do it. All right, um, here, one, one very specific and additional feature that you have here, and I, I mentioned specific because it will allow you to select what top level category this member that you're adding is going to belong to. So you're not only able to choose their membership level, but if you, if you already have a set of uh, top level categories, you know what this member, this business is going to be uh, listing themselves as, then you can go ahead and select this. You have the list here uh, of your top level categories. I'm just going to choose top level category here. Um, and underneath that, as, as uh, most of you already know, all the listings in your Brilliant Directories account need to be either a company or an individual. So depending on what you said, that listing as, then you're going to have certain repercussions. Nothing major, but basically uh, like the type of information that the listing uses. If you set it up as a company, it's going to use the company name. Uh, it's also going to use the logo. If you use it, if you set it up as an individual, it's going to use the individual's name um, and it's going to use the profile picture. So it does have that. Um, you, you have those iterations depending on what you choose here. Um, so we can we can set this one as a company. That's going to be fine. And here, the last setting that we have is if you're adding a member in which uh, in which you know 
uh, that that there's already an email address on on your system. So if you're going to be creating another um, profile for a, for an email address that an email address that's already on your database. Um, since this is not the case, I'm just going to leave it as no. I'm going to go ahead and click here, which is add new member. And there you go. Now, here we have two options. We can log in as the member or we can close this window. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and close this window uh, because I want to show you guys how to edit or further edit this, uh, this specific account. Any questions, Jason? No, I think it's good. It's also important to note that um, as the admin of the website, you have full control to edit and curate the member profile. So um, you can log in as the member, which means that you're logging in as if you were the member, and you can make any changes to that profile uh, that you see fit. And I think what, what Rick is going to show us here is there is a quick edit option to make um, some small modifications uh, to the member's listing right here from the admin panel. Yep, that's correct. So once the member has been created, it's going to show up here in the list of members, right? Um, and what Jason has just said is uh, it's it's accurate. So basically what we have here is this action button. And one of the options inside that menu is this one called quick edit. And that's what we're going to focus on now. So I'm going to open this up. And what this does is that it allows us again to further edit this listing that we just created. So the first thing that we uh, that we put together was the bare bones, and here we can go deeper into that. Um, we're going to go through the through the whole list of settings here. Um, so let's go ahead and jump to it. All right. So as we saw before, I have the option to choose the account status, whether or not it, it's uh, an active account or not, or if it's an inactive account. Um, so here we have the, the membership levels that are currently available on your account. So no charge to this specific member. Let's say that uh, you, uh, you reach out to this business. They don't end up joining your website. They're like, no, it's okay. Uh, I don't need this at the moment. You can at that point just switch them to a basic membership level. In that uh, way, you won't be uh, losing that, that information that you inputted. You won't be charging that member if this was a basic free membership level. And you still get to keep that information. So that's also useful. And it's super easy just to toggle between the membership levels here, here from that drop down. Now, the other field that we have underneath is the same as the one that we saw before. So company or individual, if you want to switch that. Uh, you can go ahead and do that here. Um, the top level category, same as what we saw before. And then here we have internal admin nodes. Um, so potential member, for example, um, where are you at with regards to the stage this specific member is on? Like, is it, is it going to be a sale soon? Is it just like a, a warm lead, for example? So those are the type of um, nodes that you can add here. Right underneath that, we have more uh, more fields for the contact information itself. So, like what we saw in the in the window that or in the screen that we were before, right? Like the name, company, the phone number, another phone number, and the email address. So those are all the contact information uh, and all the contact information fields that you can go ahead and edit on this mode now. Now. Let's go ahead and jump over to the listing settings because there's a few very cool options here. Uh, here we have the first uh, the first one that we have here. This is related to an add-on that we have available, which is the sub account. Uh, and this would basically be um, the way that the system will identify if this specific user belongs to another account. So if it's like a member of a sub account, which means that it would have a parent ID. So if we, if that was the case, then you can go ahead and add that here. Um, this is another add-on that we have. So if the uh, if you're going to set this member as a featured member on your website on your homepage, you can go ahead and choose that here, and you can go ahead and choose what position you want to set that member as. Right. Bear bear in mind again that this is a this is an add-on. Then we have here the uh, verified member. Right. So you can switch between whether or not you want to. Uh, verify this listing. So if you if you haven't been able to reach out the owner, um, you might want to set it up as not verified yet. Um, and then when you eventually talk to them, you can just switch it to yes. Um, we have a, a this one is super powerful. This is a very powerful setting just because it lists this member on all possible locations on your website, which means that 
uh, if someone is searching for um, a whole different state, a whole different country, this member is going to show because regardless of what the mem of the user of the website is searching for, this member automatically becomes an option, right? Yes. It becomes a yeah, so with that one, you're absolutely correct. As long as the keyword or category that's searched also match, uh, it doesn't matter what location is entered. Um, the member will show up for that location, and as long as they also match the keyword that was searched. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that great catch there. So yeah, the, the keyword, of course, has to match first, but then regardless of the location that they're searching for, they're going to show up. If you happen to have another one of our add-ons, which is the multi-location, uh, add on, then you can go ahead and set the amount of locations that you can that you want to activate for this member, right? So, like if you the multi location listing, it's what we used to call service area. So, if you allow members of a particular membership level to list their business in additional areas that they also provide service to, here you can go ahead and set the maximum for that. Um, afterwards, if you have um, a specific lead email right, that you want to receive a copy from the leads that are sent to this member, you can go ahead and add it here. So if you have a different email address other than the admin email address that you want to use for any reason, if it's linked to other type of business or a representative in a specific, you can go ahead and add that email address here. So it could also be a, a list. It just has to be separated by a comma. And this one's really helpful if you have um, a company that, and, and you need to uh, maybe notify multiple sales agents at the company every time a lead comes in uh, from your listing on the website. Uh, this will ensure that uh, the lead emails are CC'd uh, to all the important and uh, notable people of your organization. Uh, and this is something you can uh, offer to your members one off. That's right. So super, super useful. All right. Um, let's go ahead and jump over. We have one other tab here, which are the advanced options. And if, you, uh, if you've if you stayed so far, this is the best part. Uh, this is a, <laughs> you have a bunch of functionality here. It's very, very useful. Um, we have information on how to edit the custom CSS head code for this specific listing. Um, you can even go as far as editing CSS code for this specific listing. What does this mean, Jason? This means that if you have um, a member that's paying you way much than other members, they're advertising on their web on, on your website, but they're being like, let's call them a sponsor of your website. Um, you want to go the extra mile for them because you want to make sure that they pay you again <laughs> next month. Um, so let's say that you are already at that point. You have, a, you have a, a team that's able to help you with this CSS code if you're not comfortable with doing it yourself. Then you can go ahead and take that extra step, go in here, create some, some I would say some little details that go a very long way um, just to increase the the uh, the value of, of that listing that's paying you so much. Right underneath that one, what we have is the listing URL. So this one is very sought after, like a lot of people are after this one. Um, the way that the uh, the way that the, the file name is constructed in the platform is not really um, editable at this point, but you have the ability to edit the URL for each member in a specific. So this means that if uh, if you want, you can go ahead and here, let's say that this was my listing, I could just type in RecMC. And then uh, my, my, uh, my listing, my URL or the URL for my listing, is gonna be my website slash RecMC, sorry for the typo there. Um, but you can type in whatever you would like here. Uh, basically that will replace the default URL that's built for all members on that membership level. So this one is super, super, super useful. Um, let's go ahead and move down the list here. Uh, we have the meta title, the keywords, and the meta description again. Um, if you guys are not familiar with the meta title, this is gonna be the title on the tabs that you see here. So in this case, my new website administration, that's the title for this specific page that I'm on. So if you wanna go ahead and type something in there uh, more tailored towards that member in specific, you can go ahead and do that right here. That's awesome. And yeah, it's a lot of functionality. Yeah, it's a lot of functionality uh, just for editing one specific member's listing. So you can really get down and dive in there and make some custom edits specific to that member's profile page. Um, that's all. That's amazing, Rick. Thanks for sharing all that. 
no problem i'm i'm happy to so yeah if you guys have any um, any questions in specific about these areas we're always happy to help we do have documentation i'm going to go ahead and just take a, not more than a minute jason to point everyone to the help article section uh you guys have uh, that's a good way to start your quest if you are not able to find the information or documentation that you're after it's always a good idea to click on those help uh links it, it has the basic information and then it has links to the rest of the articles that we have for that area in specific. Um, all the different areas have different help articles. So that's a good way to get started. All right. Fantastic. All right. Thanks for sharing all that with us. <laughs> I'm happy to, Jason. Thank you. <laughs> all right, guys. That's great. So uh, now we know how to manually add members to your site and even make uh, basic edits. And remember, if the quick edit tab doesn't have a piece of data that you want to edit, you can always log in as that member and just make the um, changes as if you were that member yourself.